This is the Samsung A42 5G disassembly. Let's go ahead and remove that SIM tray. Next, we're gonna use a hair dryer or a heat gun to apply heat to the back plate so we can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're gonna pry the back plate off using a plastic pry tool. So here's the back plate and it is plastic. There are 16 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Now once your screws are removed, you're gonna put your plastic pry tool in between the housing and the frame of the screen, and you're gonna pop the catches around so you can separate the back housing. So here's your back housing, and it is plastic as well. You have numerous antenna flex cables around the housing. You also have your NFC antenna located over here. And there's a graphite sheet over here, which helps transfer heat. Now looking at the other side, we can see the rest of the graphite sheet, which extends to the top portion over here, which sits on top of the motherboard. We can also see the speaker assembly down here. And the physical keys for the buttons are located on this housing as well. Now it's time to disconnect the battery cable. Once that's disconnected, we can disconnect the rest of the cables. And this cable connects the main board to the subboard on the bottom, as well as the screen cable. So if you had a broken screen or defective screen, and that's what you're replacing, at this point, all you would have to do is heat up the front of the phone where the screen is, so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then you'd pry your screen off, making sure you run your screen cable over here, do the slit over here in the mid frame, and then you would get your new screen, apply new adhesive and reapply the screen back to the mid frame, and then just reassemble the phone. So moving on, we have two wire cables over here in the corner. We need to pop off and disconnect. We can disconnect them from the charger port board on the bottom as well. Next, let's disconnect the front facing camera and remove that. There's one Phillips screw located over here, holding on the main board, which needs to be removed. Now that the screw is removed, we can lift up and remove the main board. So taking a look at the main board, we have your camera connectors located over here. And if you need to disconnect those, all you have to do is just pop off the connectors like so. And you can remove the cameras. You also have your LED flash located over here. And you do have some rubber gaskets around the connectors. Taking a look at the other side, you have your other two camera connectors located here. They disconnect the same way. You have your proximity sensor located over here, a secondary mic up here, and your SIM card and memory card reader located over here. There's also a graphite sheet over here on top of this shield. Once we peel that off, we can see a thermal pad that sits on top of the processor, as well as a smaller thermal pad over here, which sits on top of this chip right over here. So moving back to the mid frame, we can see there's a 3D layer of graphite over here, which sits underneath the board. And this is something lately we've been seeing Samsung using on their higher end devices. Instead of a vapor chamber, they use a 3D layer of graphite, which basically does the same job and helps transfer heat. Now let's disconnect the fingerprint reader cable. And there's one Phillips screw located over here, holding on the charger port board. Once that's removed, we can lift up and remove the charger port board. You do have rubber gaskets around the connectors. Here's your headphone jack, and here's your charger port. On the other side, you can see your main microphone located over here. Now, in order to remove the battery, we're going to have to apply some heat to the front side of the phone where the screen is so we can loosen up the adhesive, which is underneath the battery. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the battery off. Here's a better look at your battery. So the flex cable for your buttons is located over here. Your vibrator motor is located here and your earpiece speaker is located up here. Both the vibrator motor, earpiece, and the fingerprint reader over here are held down with adhesive. So if you have to replace those, you're gonna have to heat them up a bit and gently pry them off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone back together.
Once all the screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your back plate. Flip over your phone, power it on, and you're done. So overall, it's fairly easy to repair this phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.